What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FM22 series where we look at some young talent on Foot Manager and we see how they get on over the course of their careers, the players that I have been curious about and players that you've been curious about as well. Now this is a quick note in case you're a fan of this series, this is probably the last episode of the series this year. We're at the point now back in the FM where all the main players have been found now and there's, it's, I think it's, I think it's time to move to end it there's always a point where i end this series i'm not going to say I might do a one-off if i come across something random but in terms of actual more videos and after this one it's unlikely to be happening um and we're going to go into daily uploads and let's play on foot manager after today most likely um one in the morning one in the evening for my night and new event this and then so on um so yeah i've re back next year don't worry back next year this series um but it's now what uh august it's like two more months till the game comes out. Um, the new game comes out, so I think it's time to um, stop. Unless I find something incredible in one of my saves that I'm doing off camera. So today's player is Michael or Michelle Elise because he's French, so I'm, I'm sure he's Michelle. Or whatever. <laughs> I, I won't miss, what I don't miss about this series is. Try to pronounce his name sometimes. The players, people are fine for us. So this is the guy that is played that was was given to me by a, a viewer slash subscriber. Hopefully a subscriber. Um, French, obviously, um, just signed for Palace this season. Well, this is in game at least. Eight million. Um, pretty good deal, really. To be honest with you, uh, I've done a scout report for you as well for him because obviously just gives you more information on it. Um, two and a half star current ability, uh, three and a half star, maybe four and a half star potential. His maximum potential range is 163. Um, he's very consistent, good amount of pace, can play in a couple of positions as English second, second nationality and the, and the good cons are not really that bad to be honest with you. Um, so, his main stats obviously are his corners, his dribbling, first touch, passing, penalties and technique and his technicals. That pace is great. He's got a reasonable right foot of age on left foot. Uh, runs the ball for centre, kill balls often, curls balls, curls the ball, tries tricks and cuts inside from both wings. Um, this guy could play either side. He's got a reasonable right foot, so inside forwards on the left-hand side would not be a problem for me personally. Um, obviously, he's just signed for uh, Palace. Wow, look at all the bonuses in that contract. I mean... They've got win the Champions League in there at Palace. Now, I'm not saying you, got, you can't take over Palace win the league, Champions League with them. Of course you could. But that ain't happening in, the 2020, in, in five years, is it? So... <laughs> okay. If that's real, if you're a Palace fan, that's real. Let me know because... That doesn't seem right, but it may well be. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, to be honest. Um, so that's insane. A um, lot of flair, makes sense, he's got a lot of tricks. You can play him in cam, really, but I think definitely with that pace and dribbling um, and, um, yeah, technique, I think you want to play him in the wide areas. So um, let's continue, guys. The first jump, let's see how he gets on at Palace. And if he does do well at Palace, if he gets a move to, quote, a higher, higher level team. Okay, so he's still at Crystal Palace, and the increases are mainly in his first touch, passing, and technique. Acceleration and agility are also at 16 and 17, respect respectively. Um, he's now got the same player traits as before. Um, contract, there is actually a release clause in there. Uh, again, every say is different, so it might be different in his clause. There might not be a release clause in the, in the contract you do you know, sign in for him. Injuries... Pretty good, nothing there to concern me. Um, so Palace, the first season, he got five goals, three assists, then seven goals, eight assists, then one and two, and then this season was his breakout season in the championship, um, for with 12 goals and 11 assists. So, obviously, now interest in him from um, Liverpool. Uh, major interest in Liverpool, so it looks like they're going to try and bring him in. I don't think we can check where Palace finished, but you know, we can't. I'm going to league load, obviously. Um, so, in just, I mean, very good player. I like him a lot. I mean, his finish isn't great, but everything else is bang on for a winger, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't think he's bad on his right foot either. It's not terrible. Obviously, they're playing more in the cam at the moment, but obviously, I think I have a goal in the championship. I think in a, in a fully. Um, not dominating, but a good Premier League side who's not from a relegation, maybe he could be really, really good. I mean, it's all there, isn't it? He's got the pace, dribbling, the corners ain't bad, good, to, good first touch, good passing, good technique, 
Pace is good, can take a penalty as well, good vision. It's all there, and he can play either side as well. Obviously, you may play with him on the right-hand side with his left foot. That's what I prefer to do, but obviously, it was different. So, will Liverpool sign him? Let's find out. Well, he's gone to Arsenal via Aston Villa, and again, he looks a really, really good player. I don't understand why he's not getting the goals and assists. Um, I really don't. Uh, listed on transfer list right now by request, I think it was, and everyone wants him from the Premier League. Uh, Man United, Chelsea, Leicester, Liverpool, West Ham, Watford. I put that in the wrong order, but never mind. Uh, uh, I don't get why this player's not performing. He looks really, really good. Um... Obviously, injuries, not an issue, so that's not the reason why he hasn't been performing well. So, uh, Crystal Palace sold him to Aston Villa 28.5. In the Premier League, got nine goals, two assists, and Arsenal signed him with £53 million, and then proceeded not to play the guy. Do not get this, why this is a thing on FM every year. Every year. It's bizarre. This guy could start most Premier League teams, maybe not in top six. But then again, he could be a squad player in the top six. I mean, now he can play Cam, like I said. That could, it, it could be done. Uh, but I would, it's a weird one, this. I mean, the three years that they paid for him, 28.5, is about right for him. Ish. I'm not sure what that's worth at that time, but I think that's a reasonable fee for him. Um, Arsenal have dropped a clanger there um, with that one. Of oh, 34 million. Still add-ons. Um, still a reasonable deal with the fact that he's got he can play across the front line. He's got good pace, good dribbling, good technique, and you know, and passing ability. Yeah, it's weird. Um, weird. I mean, he's only a year in the Premiership at a major club. Oh, Palace got he got six and three with Palace, didn't they, that year? But then he got nine and two. Arsenal, why have we signed him? I don't know. Anyway, let's find out where he goes next. And he finished off at uh, Newcastle, and it's the same story at Manchester United as well. Played a few games, didn't get the goals. Very weird player in terms of how he's p- turned out in this simulation. But I feel like he's better than we're seeing. At 31 years old, he's still got the pace. And the stats are relatively stay the same throughout the whole review, really. So that's kind of handy. Um, injuries, I don't think that's been a problem for him. No, it's weird. It's very weird. Very weird. Um, and then you're looking at Man United going for £30 million, pounds, but they played him from start. Got six goals and seven that year. Then six and one. They paid more than Arsenal, to be fair. Um, so I think the feed that uh, Newcastle United... And Villa paid is sort of about right. Arsenal, basically, they didn't play him badly. That's a stupid deal. I don't get why they've done that. I like him. I think he's better than we've seen here. I think he can play him across the way across the front three. Um, he's got the pace. He's, I like. He, he's, he's better than what we've seen. I think he's better than what we've seen. Just the board, the, the, the players, the, just Arsenal didn't play him. I think if he'd not gone to Arsenal... It'd be a different story. It would do a lot better. So, um, I like him. Only downside to him? <sighs> Maybe if you wait too long, the fee goes too high for what he is. But then again, if you get him early on, you manage him correctly, you may get more out of him than they've seen here. So, guys, thank you for watching this series. I've really enjoyed making the videos again this year. I will be back with... Oh, no, that's the... Um, this one. <laughs> I will be back next year with the FN23 with this with this series again. Um, but I feel I just think it's time to stop at this point. Um it will come out it'll come out on the full release of the game, not the beta, uh, next year. And uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. If you've got any feedback on the series, you can put it in the Discord or in the comment section about what to do next year, things to change, things to improve, or any early players you should keep an eye out for for that series. Uh, I'll try and make a note of them, but yeah. Thank you for watching, folks. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for daily FM content. Down below, feed the channel and let's be channel as well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.